everyone, welcome to Field Court Infant Academy. We're going to be talking to you about um, the routine and the daily life of your children at reception. This slide shows you um, the routine for your children they come across whilst they're in school. Mr Osborne, the head teacher, Mrs Smith, the deputy. We have the three reception classes, each one having a full-time teaching assistant. We also have Mrs Rashid and Miss Rogers who are working reception, working with intervention groups and giving support across the year group. This slide shows you the vision of our school in the middle, love life and both learning and bullying together. And then around the outside, underpin our curriculum and are able to deliver our teaching and learning at Field Court and Infant Academy. And then around there you have six Christian values that we address and teach the children at during the year, which is really, really important for us at school and at home as well, which is why we send home leads for you to share with our children so they can bring them home. Okay, so uh, we are trying to encourage independence and your child to be independent whilst um, coming to school. So this happens as soon as they arrive in the morning. They should come in independently and look after their own belongings as much as possible as, and as quickly as they can. So we ask them to put their book bag in, in a correct place. Each class has a different place to put their book bag. Your snack and drink away and then coats and other bags in the cloakroom. Um, everyone always has a separate box for lunch boxes if you are home packed lunch. We also encourage children to be independent when dressing and undressing for PE. Um, in reception, we don't, we won't be getting them changed in PE um, for the next term. But when this does come into effect, if you could uh, support your child less and less each day in the mornings when they get changed and when they come home um, out of their uniform, that would be great. Thank you. Please could you send your child in with a named water bottle and a healthy snack every day. They'll leave their home snack in the morning and in the afternoon the school provides a free healthy snack, be it fruit or vegetable. We have a healthy food policy at school, um, so if you'd like to look on the school website for further details, it tells you what we recommend your children can bring in each day. Book bags and reading diaries. So it's really important that every day your child's book bag comes in, even if there's nothing in there, in case they need to send a letter home or a note or a message. The reading diaries need to be in every day, so they should be in there anyway. We will change the reading books on Tuesday and Friday, and the loved reading books we will change every Monday, because they need to be brought back into school on a Monday, and they are the school books that we provide for you to share with your child. Please continue to look in the book bags and check for any messages, notes or anything you may send, as we will if you've sent anything since we came. Okay, so the EYFS curriculum um, is under the Development Matters book and our teaching and learning is delivered through seven areas of learning listed below. So in each area of learning there are um, different criteria that we expect the children to um, learn and develop whilst being with us at school. So we provide activities that support um, these statements in each of the seven areas of learning, which are changed daily and weekly, depending on um, what the children or the cohort need. Uh, please have a look online if you'd like to have a look at this in any, um, any further. Uh, it is uh, available in a PDF, PDF format. the most important thing you can help your child with at home. As a school, we have a reading policy where we require you to read with your child at home at least three times a week, please, or if possible. If you could make a note in the child's reading diary every time you share a book together and could sign that that's been done. Also, we offer bug club. Each child has a login and a password, which is stuffed inside their reading diary. You can log on at home at any time and engage in some exciting stories. They also have questions to check the child's comprehension. 
When you do re read the book ad, please tell me whilst you drop your questions because the comprehension skills will really help develop their reading. Thank you. Phonics. So we refer to this as lessons and sounds within school. Phonics is what we've divided the um, activities for on the tablet. And every day we teach your child a new sound. Um, you can access the action sheet, as I said, on your tablet. And we will also be sending home sound maps where you can ask your child to identify the sound they've learned that day uh, and also refer back to the ones they previously learned. Okay, below are some useful websites you can use with your child. As we've already mentioned, Bug Club, uh, Target Tracker Login. I hope that you are all familiar with Target Tracker and have or are able soon to see lots of observation that your class teachers will have um, done or observed about your child. Um, these are really lovely. Phonics to Play, another really useful website. Um, Reading at Home, um, Oxford Owl, lots of books on there. And Top Marks Math Games. Um, Top Marks is another website that we use at school, so your child will be very familiar with um, some of the games on there. The school has a very informative website and a very active Facebook page. If you'd like to access those regularly, you'll see all of our letters, our information, lots of photos, and the generally what's going on in school. Really useful tool for new parents. So, if you have any questions, please email us directly. You will find on the school website our pictures, and underneath our pictures are our direct email addresses. We will endeavour to contact you back um, as soon as we can. Um, otherwise, just catch us at the end of the day, very briefly, um, and we will see if we can answer your questions. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Yellow Class. I'm going to take you on a little tour to show you the different areas and what kind of things your children access when they're here. So, the children come in through this door. You can see a beautiful picture there um, that Dono did of Mrs. McKenz and me and Dono. So they come in through the door and we encourage the children to put their snacks in the right pot, broccolis, oranges, bananas and strawberries. And from there, they travel around the classroom, through to the cloakroom, where they can put their things, their coats, and any bags they have in here, hanging up on their pegs. And then back into the classroom. Lunch boxes go in these containers, so they're separate from the snacks. And then the children sit down on the carpet, and they all have a spot to sit on. And they can get a whiteboard, practice writing their names, practice writing the sounds that we've been learning. We use the interactive whiteboard every day to help remember our sounds and write them, play different games. And then when the children are choosing their own activities, they might decide to play in the role play area. It's very popular and we've got some writing equipment down here. They can pretend to write letters, notes, send them in the post box to each other. And then we've got a little maths area where they can find out about shapes. They can count little magnetic pieces, building them together, measure them. They can access Numicon. And then we have a small world area with our doll's house and our blocks, little people, dinosaurs, castle, cars. So this is acting out play scenarios, lots of space on the floor for them to create. We have a little table for them to be busy fingers, developing those fine motor skills, creating different pictures. And all these activities change during the week according to what we're focusing on from their learning, what the children have shown interest in, what areas of the learning we are focusing on. So this week we've done a bit of a focus on shape, which is why there are different shape activities for the children to access. And we also look at the sounds every week. The children can come, practice writing their sounds, 
play I Spy games. They can access their own craft materials here and maybe put some art up on the wall that they've created. And then they can free flow outside, so they have access to our outside area every day. And the children know they have to tick their number so we know how many are out here. And then we've got a little garden area, some sand and some pebbles, an easel for them to create pictures. And they write their name if they want to go on the bike or the scooter. And we teach them to put things back where they belong using pictures to help so that they know how to keep the resources tidy and respect all of the things we have in our classroom. So I hope this helps give you a bit more information about how we work in the classroom and what kind of things your children are doing. Thank you.